Good Monday afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another video. And I'm still on the Rocky train. Today, I'm going to give you my review on Rocky V. So, I've only watched this movie once ever since uh, enjoying the whole Rocky franchise. So... Watching this kind of felt like I watched it for the very first time because I really didn't even remember it that much. But you'll get my thoughts on Rocky V right now. So Rocky V was released in 1990. And uh, this picks up after Rocky's bout with Ivan Drago in Russia. So, he comes back home, and Pauly decides to uh, sign over a power of attorney, costing the Balboa family all their money. So now, he's completely broke, and he has nothing to do with his life. So, he goes back to the gym... And he runs into a new up-and-coming boxer by the name of Tommy Gunn. So, this dude was like 20 years old, if I remember correctly. And he was from Oklahoma City. And he begs Rocky to train him to become the next Rocky Balboa. And then you also have uh, this promoter named George Washington Duke. And he wants Tommy Gunn for himself. And he does take him all the way to the top. Turns out the person he fought, Union Kane, was kind of like a second rate uh, heavyweight champion. So, the title that Tommy Gunn wanted, he doesn't deserve. The ultimate climax is a fight against Tommy Gunn and Rocky Balboa to determine who is the ultimate heavyweight champion of the world. Of course, Rocky Balboa is, and Tommy Gunn feels like a complete idiot by abandoning him and going with Duke. And there's also a rift between Rocky and his son. And his son, like, goes into, like, uh, the group of bad kids and he becomes one of them. Of course, Rocky doesn't like that. And he tries to set him straight. So this movie is all about like. Uh, keeping your family close together. And bringing in new people that you trust. And keeping them in line. So it's definitely a dual dynamic with family and friends. I really did enjoy this one. But it's really not memorable and uh there's also like a little montage with uh mickey in the middle of this and that's actually a really emotional scene because rocky goes back to his old gym and he just reminisces about mickey so this one is basically kind of the end of the line for the original franchise. But it takes 16 years to get another follow-up for Rocky. And that's going to be for Rocky Balboa. Which I'll talk about that in the next day or two. But uh, right now, Rocky V for me is sitting... This is probably... The lowest grade so far, but it's still a good grade. 
I'm going to go ahead and give this one a B. Because it still is really good, but it's just not that memorable. And it's really not a traditional Rocky movie. It's very small scale, and the fighter is extremely easy for Rocky to beat. So those are my thoughts on Rocky V. Hope you guys are enjoying this journey as much as I am. I only have like three more movies before Creed Three comes out. So expect all these movies this week. And then a quick review on Cocaine Bear at the end of the week. So I still have quite a few videos to film. Just look out for my review on Rocky Balboa in the next couple days or so. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Peace.